Hello everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, today we've got two boxes from eBay full of random video games. And without further ado, let's see what games we've got inside. Okay, this here is a big box. It doesn't even fit on screen. So, let's see, hopefully the games do. They tape this all the way across. Okay, let's get in there. Switch hands. Let's get in this tape in the middle. Not too deep to not cut into the games if they're in there. Or what I mean is, you know, right at the surface. Nice. So, let's get in. Okay, nice. In here, nice and firm. Good packaging. Sounds like one of the games is loose. Let's go ahead and cut into this and see what we've got. Like I said, I bought this bunch of random video games off of eBay. Let me get into this tape here. Whoa. Oh, here it is. I think it's here. This is where we should cut into. There it is. I'm trying to get this all on camera. <laughs> ah, let's just... Okay, cool. So, let's see what's first on the list. Resident Evil 3. I'm not sure what this sticker is. I'm not sure where it comes from. But, you know, if any of you know, please go ahead and fill me in. But, so here we have Resident Evil 3 for the PS4. Uh, I have this game already. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this extra copy, but... I mean, I might hang on to it for a little bit. All right, let's see what's next. Fallout 76. Cool. I don't have this video game, but I am planning on keeping this one. Uh, so it's brand new. So was Resident Evil 3. This packaging looks pretty torn. But other than that, the game does look new. Just that... It has this little tear. And you know what? While we're here on Fallout 76, and since the packaging is already slightly ripped open, let's just go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. first fallout co-op game so i mean when i heard about this that was pretty exciting but i mean we know how that turned out or i mean if you don't know when it first launched people didn't like it because there were not many quests and stuff in the game they expected it to be more of a traditional fallout game with co-op but turned out to go a different route well, at least that's from what I heard. So let's continue on with the rest. Let's move on to the next one. The Hunter, Call of the Wild. See, again with this sticker, it has a price on it, but pretty sure that's not close to the price I paid for it. Okay, I don't have this game, but I am planning on keeping this one. All right, let's see what else is in here. The Division 2, I believe. 
This is another one. I don't have this one, but I do have the first one. I'm not sure where it's at. It's gonna be somewhere in my video game catalog, but I mean, I am planning on keeping this one. I enjoyed the first one. So let's see what else we've got in here. Borderlands 3. What's up with these stickers? All of these have it. They must have got it from, I don't know, some, probably like a liquidation company or something. The blue sticker, not sure where this comes from. Uh, so yeah, Borderlands 3. I have part one and two, but part three I didn't buy. But I mean, I got this now, so I'm planning on keeping that one. Whoa, a PS5 game. Just Dance 2021. Uh, I'm not really into Just Dance, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this copy, but I'll add it to my collection. Who knows? Maybe I'll get to it one day or maybe I'll pass it down to, to a family or a friend. And uh, what do we have here? Middle Earth Shadow of War. Okay, so... I don't have this one either, but I do have the first game in the series. I think it's called uh, Shadow of Mordor, but uh, I like that one. I like the first game, and uh, I don't know, when this one came out, I just, I kind of slept on it, but I heard it's good. I mean, I heard there's a whole, like, microtransaction debacle to, like, pass the game. You had to buy microtransactions or something, but pretty sure that's all worked out now, so... I am gonna keep this one. And there's one more game in here. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. So I have this game on the PlayStation 3. Brand new, everything in here. Everything in this whole bunch has been brand new so far. And uh, I guess that's what the that's what the description said on eBay that everything was new. It's a whole PS4 game uh, lot. So in this other box, should be the same thing so like i was saying assassin's creed 3 for the playstation 4 uh i have the ps3 version and uh i played it passed it and i enjoyed it i'm a big fan of the franchise so this is all wrapped up let's put this to the side and let's get started on the next package cool so smaller box, same person. Um, let me actually go over these real quick. So for all these games, I bought them all from the same person. Let's see if I can get these all on the camera. And there goes my blade. Yeah, so... What is this? Eight games? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Uh, so I bought all of these from the same person on eBay. I think I spent about 90 bucks maybe for the whole thing on this one alone. So let's go ahead and see what's in this box. You know what? I just noticed this is an Amazon box and it was not delivered through Amazon. I didn't know that you could ship Amazon boxes with USPS. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this one. Okay, let me move this to the side. Bubble wrap. It's been packaged neatly, just like the other box. I mean, this one used the space a little bit better. Sorry for all that glare. Uh, let's see what's in this box. Okay, Assassin's Creed Origins. I also have this one. Like I said, I'm a fan of the franchise. I, uh, I've enjoyed all the games, but I actually haven't got to the Origins or any of the newer ones. So, like, like I said, I enjoy the franchise, but 
huge backlog of games and I just haven't gotten into the to the newer series of it. Um okay, let's go to the next one. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I believe. Odyssey up here. Um again with the stickers, clearance. Well, this shows that it came from Walmart, so I'm not sure if the person who I bought it from on eBay had purchased these himself from off of eBay. Or I mean Walmart, sorry. But let's see. It's brand new. Everything so far has been brand new. Exactly like the description on eBay said. So no complaints on that. Cool. Let's get to the next one. And would you look at that? Another Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So according to the description, it said there would be some duplicates. Wasn't sure if I was going to get any. But let's see what I'm going to do with those. Mafia. That's the next one here. Definitive Edition. The packaging on this game is pretty nice. And uh, I actually have this game on digital download. So it was a good game. I enjoyed it. So I might just keep the physical edition of it because I only have it on digital. So it'd be nice to add to my collection. And here we go. Another duplicate. Mafia Definitive Edition, but this time with the sticker. Surprisingly, the other copy did not have the sticker. Uh, loose disc. So, not sure what I'm going to do with this one. Might give it away to a family or friend. Who knows? Hopefully one day this channel gets big enough, I can probably start doing some giveaways. But, let's see what else is in here. Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Okay, so... I don't have this game, or I believe I don't, on physical at least. I got this game on PlayStation Plus, uh, added it to my library, but I've never played it. So I'm looking forward to probably trying this one out sometime. It looked like fun, but it's an older game now. I'm not sure how the online support for this is now. Uh, I might just keep this just to add the physical box to my collection and here we go another duplicate what has that been that's been about two three duplicates already but look at this this one does not have the sticker and brand new cool let's move on to the next one and this is i believe paw patrol nice so Probably not gonna play this one myself, but always good to future proof your collection. Hey, I don't know for maybe in the near future might have uh, some kids Maybe they'll be the ones to hopefully try this one out So yeah, I'm I'm honestly planning on keeping this one probably for that for that sole reason so let's see and uh, Yeah, I for this whole collection right here. Let's go ahead these next other eight games that I got from this box paid about $90 for these two. Uh, overall, I spent about $180 on all these games. Check this out. This is about 16 games, I believe. Let's double check. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Would you look at that? I can count. So yeah, 16 games. And I spent about 90, so that would be like 180 in total. 90 on each box, 180 in total. Uh, right now, I'm gonna try to add in a counter on what these games are worth right now for retail and how much I paid in total. So, uh, so far, I know this video wasn't full of anything crazy or exciting. I mean, except for these crazy savings, but you know, I gotta set expectations. I can't ball out all the time on video games. So honestly, I think this is a win for my collection and uh, just the savings, the savings alone. I got some games I don't even have in my collection. So I'm planning on keeping a good amount of these. Please be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. So hopefully I can bring more videos like this to you guys and uh, maybe hopefully you guys can drop in some suggestions and we can open some video games together all right so that's it for this video and i appreciate you watching
Thank you.